I don't hate anything about it. I hate when people say 10 things I hate about a bike. There's nothing to hate about a bike. Nothing to hate about a Tacoma. There's nothing to hate about a mountain. Okay, it's just enough with the hate part. Okay, just say things you prefer not to have or whatever. But anyway, I don't wanna preach. That's right, welcome back to Hardtail Life. It's been a long time. There's a reason why there's been a long time, long wait. The Siskiyou, the Polygon Siskiyou T8 2024. Uh, don't hate me for this. I did have a 2021 Santa Cruz Tallboy and I had that for three years. But originally I was going to buy this after the pandemic in 2021, ordered one in the summer, and they said it was in stock. They'd say delivery day would be like a week. And then two weeks later, they said, hey, sorry, this bike really wasn't in stock. We'll give you $200 off. And by then I was too pissed off. I was like, no, forget it. I'm just gonna go to a local bike shop and uh, take my uh, chances again. And that's when I got the Santa Cruz uh, Tallboy, which was a great bike. You gotta get the purple, right? And I've dedicated this to the Gianna and Kobe. God bless them all. Don't hate on the Lakers. It's a special, special, you know, meaning to this. Lived in LA for 17 years, so you gotta give me this. I don't wanna get into all specifics. We all know what bikes are. I'll just show you the general things that I like a little bit more about the Santa Cruz, okay? I love how the DPS float is right here in the middle. Now, if you're familiar with the Tall Boys and some of the Santa Cruz bikes, all the pivoting systems right here and your, your DPS is like wedged inside. So every time you want to take it out, you have to undo all of this and it's hard to get to and it's a mess and the chip clips way down here and that's hard to get to. And working on your bike is just essential. So if you can get to everything without taking all these parts off and that's just easier in the long run. Uh, this is the Fox 34 Rhythm. Now the Rhythm you can't get, as far as what I've read, you can't get this anywhere in a, a shop or online. It'll just come with bikes. Kind of like Sun Tours, but Sun Tours are garbage. That's right, I said it. Um, but the Fox 34 is really, um, so far, I've, I've done this once. I've been on the trail once. I'm not cheating. I've done this once just to bed in the brakes. Always important to do that. But uh, so far, I'm, I'm really happy with the Fox 34. I think a lot more uh, forgiveness on the Fox 34 rhythm than a RockShox at 130. Now, this is 140. This is 135 back here. So instantly, I have more travel which is really what i needed but i didn't want to spend an extra you know thousand dollars in travel when i could just get a bike for 2400 brand new and i did sell my santa cruz someone somebody out there in long beach is i hope very happy with their purchase i use bicycle bicycle is actually a really good app to use if you want to sell your bike uh, it's now in America. It's a little oversaturated, but you just got to be patient. You might have to come down in price a little bit. I came down in price about 300 or 200, maybe $200. And then finally at 1900, uh, they, someone picked up my bike. The only thing I changed, I have my race face. This is my carbon. Uh, it's just a little bit lighter and wider, uh, more stability. Uh, everything else is the same. I had to put the Trans-X in. Uh, I don't like Trans-X, uh, their little lever here. So I replaced it with a PNW. It's really nice, really responsive and easy to install. And it's purple. Goes with the rest of the bike. It's the Tektro brakes, the four piston. I guess I've never been a fan of Tektro because that's what I had on my hardtail back in the day. And they were very soft brakes, but you know, these were like 160 
rotors, um, probably not the best brakes at the time that I bought them. But so far, uh, pretty good grip. I think I've bed the brakes in enough. So today we're gonna take it down to black and see how they do. Kind of go slow because I'm using 2.6 tires. So there's a little bit of vagueness, if you want to call it that, with 2.6s and they're the V tires made in Thailand. Not saying anything's wrong with that, um, but they're a little rubbery, a little slow, and kind of grippy when you're going downhill. They, they tend to hold on to rocks and not let go of them. <laughs> So you're being pulled back by somebody's hand. It's hard to explain, but that's just part of a rider's responsibility to shift your body weight. So that's what I'm gonna to try today and not blame tires, blame the rider. So anyway, let's go for it. All right, here we go. This is our first big climb after doing the fire road. So uh, this is a good test to see uh, what it can do on a trail going uphill. Not gonna bore you with too much. Well, let's just get a sense of what it's like with the bigger tires, the 2.6 tires, front and back. But sometimes I struggle up this hill, even though it's the easy way up. A little bouncy, but <laughs> kind of hard to control sometimes and it's been a while just got to control it better god damn it <laughs> hit a root it's my fault not the bikes. I catch my breath. Dare I say there was a little more, too much grip coming up that hill with the 2.6s. Uh, these aren't Maxxis. Maxxis has the perfect texture of the wheel. And I think you guys can hear it when you brake. It's a clear indication of different materials being used. Uh, let's see if we can clear this. Cause this is usually a little bit easier. You just pick your line and you power through it. There's just a little more bounce that I gotta get used to. Well, that's okay. That's not the worst thing. But damn, I'm out of breath. Clear sign that I've been waiting to one, sell my bike and make sure that it's in good, clean condition for the buyer. And then waited for the materials to come, unpack, pack, disassemble, send it out, wait for them to get it, and get paid, then make the purchase for the bike, the Siskiyou, and then wait like a week after they uh, estimated, but that's not bad. It, it, once it was delivered, it was there like in two days. So bikes online, thank you. You guys did a good job. All right, what was 
isn't bad. If it gets worse, maybe a little bit, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it doesn't get worse. I don't know. I definitely could have taken better lines, but the front shock totally ate up my mistakes. And uh, I don't think I would have had that success on the recon, re, uh, the recons, rock shocks. At uh, 1.30, I just don't think, I think I'd be over the bars, but uh, kind of went with it with this bike and it worked. I just got to pick better lines, like most riders, so nothing fault of the bike. Alright, I'm going to do a little climb, I'm not going to bore you with it. Just advice when you're doing a bike review. Don't do old man's green, straight as Nebraska kind of trail. If you have a new bike, let's say it's a dual shock, let's go down some uh, meaty, chunky hills. Really show the viewers what this thing can do. Let's take it slow and break this down, segment by segment. Alright, Mariposa downhill. Here we go. It's been a while. <laughs> well, slippy. All right, it's a little slippy, but I'm hitting rocks and just being pushed way off to the right or left. I've never used these tires before, but I'm not going to blame them. Just got to get used to them. I also don't want to get hurt on Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, by the way, guys. All right, was my hose in the way the whole time. <laughs> Pick a line. Any line. Yo, yo. Whoa. What's he doing? He's going around. Ow. <laughs> Ow. There's a little rock on the side of me. hard to reset going down the spine shit pedal strike right. for safety just gonna dab a little bit ooh that's new <laughs> I'm not going off that though. Yeah, stay away from the chaparral. Stuff will knock you off your bike. Come on, Tim. What you get?
Oh man, it is dry and dusty. Bike handle wall, better than I thought. All right, let's keep going. Brakes. All right. Let me go ahead and just give you a review, a rundown of what we have on this bike. And it's, if you go online to Bikes Online and you see the Polygon Cisco T8, it's actually what you get is what you get on the bike. Like what you see online is what you get on the bike, which is not what I got on my 2021 Santa Cruz Top Boy. You do have uh, 180s in the front and the back. This is a 180 native, just to let you know. But this is not a 180 native. You can see that there is an extension, so this is probably a 160 native. So if you do want a 203, you have to go from a 160 to a 203 adapter. This is 135 in the back. Really like it, good adjustables. I think we're all pretty familiar with the DPS float. It does its job. The Fox Rhythm you might not be familiar with because it only comes on certain bikes and you can only get it on bikes. It's not something you can order I, from what I gather. Um, a good bike. Uh, you do have your adjustments here and then your rebound and everything under there if you can see that. So this bike comes with the SLX. So far I like it. I did buy pedals, obviously, because bikes don't really come with pedals. They do legally come with pedals, but they're not the ones you're ever going to ride with. So I got these PNWs. Uh, Love them. Look how beautiful they are. Look at that purple. Hmm, purple. Okay, I already hit something pretty hard there. So my only doubts were about the Tektro 4 pistons. They do okay. Uh, I'm not about to ship them off <laughs> yet. I'm not trying to spend any more money to uh, I think I've bet them in and so this is as good as they'll be and they're okay I, I generally think they're fine brakes the thing I did switch out though this is a switch for the Trans X and when I was putting it in maybe it's something I did wrong but I, I think I either stripped it but there's just all these little different like movements it's like very, I don't know. This had like two movements, like one here and one there. And uh, just, it's nice and stiff and it just, I don't know, activates so quickly. I really like it. So yeah, why the Polygon Siskiyou T8? One, it's a direct consumer. So that means it's like a thousand or two thousand dollars off a normal uh, price that you would get at a bike store and you get a lot of great components and this is really what i wanted three years ago you know this was during the chain supply problems and it just never got to me and we have to say that these v tires um, i was trying to be positive about them and i still am a little bit of vagueness but i think the biggest problem is not the vagueness it's just the the way it grips at low speeds I just feel like you have to be a little careful about your speed control. Actually, just let go of the brakes more and let it ride because the slower you go, the more it's going to hold on to any uh, loose rock and not let go of it. If that makes any sense at all. I feel like Maxxis will grip, but then they'll slide off. So you'll get kind of a, I don't know, like a Fitch tail where you have to just ride it. This, I kind of felt my bike being shoved to the left and right, like instant, like just like kind of a rattle in the beginning in the front. Yeah, the hardest part of doing reviews is not knowing where to start. This is what I really like about this bike, is that you can get to your DPS float a lot easier than you can on a Santa Cruz, a Santa Cruz Tall Boy. Uh, those of you who have Tall Boys will know what I mean. It's not the worst thing, but the pivot system is all right here in this little triangle. And the, the DPS float is like back here. 
So you have to get in and tight and like try to loosen things and the whole pivot system just drops on you and then you lose bolts and this you can just see and you can work on it and like that's what you want to do like I honestly don't know why Santa Cruz does that it's such a well-known bike company you would think they just in other models they don't it's just I feel like it's just uh, the tall boys maybe it's another uh, version but tall boys seem to have this like uh-uh you're not gonna get to your DPS float but really that was the only uh, gripe I really had about the tall boy otherwise it was a great bike and I miss it and I hope someone's loving it right now okay so yeah bikes online $2,400 total uh, beautiful bike um, I've always thought the purple is the best looking <laughs> polygon bike and uh, there was a brown and black I think version or tan and black it just didn't have that Siskiyou polygon look um, so you gotta go with the purple you just you have to you don't have to dedicate it to Mamba but that was just uh, me personally where I've lived and uh, just felt right don't make fun of me I, I know I got stickers like I'm seven years old but whatever never too old these are 175s uh, I did hit a couple times, but it's not so bad when you have 2.6 tires, you're actually off the ground a little bit more and you don't get the strikes that you do normally when you have 2.3s or 2.4s. Now maybe eventually I'll go with 2.5s in the front and back, or maybe keep a 2.6 in the front, put a 2.5 in the back. I don't know. I'll. I'll run with these. I don't even think these tires will last as long. <clears throat> the rubber is, a, I don't know, it's, there's more uh, play in the rubber and I think these are gonna be worn down pretty quickly. <clears throat> but you know, I can't ride every day because of work. So maybe I'll have them for a good year, I don't know. Let me know what you think about the Siski T8. Uh, don't know many people that have Actually, I don't know anybody. I've just seen them online, mostly in Europe, but here in the US, I've seen a few, and I've always heard uh, good things about them. Um, I always want to support our local stores, and I have, and I always will, because every time you want components, guess where you go? You go to your local store. Who's that? Happy Father's Day. <laughs> Happy Father's Day. Thank you. That's my son. Thank you, Hunter. <laughs> it's Father's Day. Um, my present to me is going down and hurting myself. Because <laughs> I'm a weirdo. The total weight with me and the bike was 192. Subtract the difference, you get 35 pounds. So 35 pounds with everything, that's not bad. And the, actually, the entity that came with it, it's not bad. <laughs> Got a good swoop, it's got a good rise. You can see that. Um, but I just wanted to put my carbon on because it's pretty and it gives me more control. All right, well, thanks for coming back and riding with me on Hardtail Life. Um, let me know what you think. Um, if you have a uh, Siskiyou, even if you don't have a T8, let me know what your, you know, D7 or whatever downhill or you know obviously the T means uh, trail always good to ride out there and I will come back with a uh, long-term review on the Siskiyou T8 um, maybe do some rides in the, the post some rides in the middle somewhere sprinkle them in there so you get a, a feel for uh, other trails too anyway see you guys later bye bye